up cancer kings queens and everything in between i am austria of unbothered queen and today i will be channeling the collective of cancer sun moon rising venus and mercury in regards to a 10-day forecast for the third through the 12th please keep in mind that the time frame is specifically for me and whenever you see this message that's when you are meant to see it it could be past present or future all right um this is also um with mutual energy from the person that's either coming in um, your life or maybe possibly someone from the past here. It's just the energy that's surrounding you. So only take what resonates with you. All right. If it resonates, please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out. If it doesn't, check your other placements. Moon rising, Venus, and Mercury. I feel like a lot of y'all are fed up with some shit. You, you're like, you're tired of being breadcrumbs. Somebody not um giving you the same energy that you give them um some of y'all could have just put somebody out all right thank you spirit for clearing concise messages for cancer some on rising venus and mercury thank you all right so we got nostalgia it's been hard not to think about what used to be all right the other the other person i'm seeing is influencing my decisions all right we got balance finding balance between giving and receiving yo y'all don't see me though cancer okay <laughs> um we got obsession i'm obsessed with you and our memories it's almost killing me All right, and we got shattered. I'm feeling broken, can't stop these racing thoughts. Okay. All right, y'all. Then we got intimate date here at the bottom with deception. So maybe um, I'm getting like somebody was not as open as they like made it seem or somebody lied about taking somebody out on a date for some of you. But I'm, I'm more so getting like somebody like like a line about like some sort of emotional connection or some shit that you share or that they share with someone else here all right all right let's see what cancer wants spirit what does cancer want so i do like what what you want what your person wants and the challenges that you guys are facing thank you what does their person want, Spirit? What does their person want? Okay, so. Alright, what's their person's challenge? Okay. So, I was told to put that back over there. So, what's um, their, okay. Thank you. And what is their person's challenge? Okay. Okay. All right, y'all. So we got forgiving and learning here. Um, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Then we got children right here. So I want to say um, this person could be having issues with childhood trauma and shit. And this is why they're unable to really move forward or really open up here. It's something about their past that they need to heal or this is your energy. All right. So then we have passion here in the reverse it says allow your heart and soul to sing with joy for this to be what you want here cancer i feel like it's like you want to be done with them but something about this situation like something about this person or this situation does not allow you to be done with them like you can't be done with them so it's like we got attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully and then we have deception again in the reverse. It says someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. So this person wants to be open. This person wants to be open. They want to be honest about, you know, the feelings that they have. But it's like, it's like this person is in present though. All right. All right. So we got new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. 
So for some of you, your challenge is, is to get on to somebody new because like I said, you're kind of feeling like I don't want to be stuck in this. I don't want to be in this energy with this person anymore. Um, for some of you, maybe this person has gotten someone else and this is what you are struggling with or it's like struggling to like give this person another chance for some. All right, so we got healing family issues. What the fuck did I say, y'all? Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents, getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. What the fuck did I say? Like this person, it's like they're hiding a part of themselves and it's hard for this person to really open up and it's a lot to do with, you know, um, childhood shit that they went through or like how they viewed um relationships you know like if you grew up in a toxic situation it's you know it's hard for you to you know view uh healthy relationships as such you know what i'm saying like sometimes you think like well you're just always waiting for that other shoe to drop all right thank you spirit for clearing concise messages thank you for clearing concise messages thank you Give me more here about what cancer wants here, spirit. Give me more here about what cancer wants here, spirit. Thank you. All right. So we got divine feminine here. Also could be divine masculine. And then we got entrapment here. Uh, so pregnancy, money, heartstrings. So it's like <laughs> you want this person to fucking be enthralled and in love with you, period. Um, some of you... Um, could want a child with this person or so for some of you it's the energy of like I want to hit you where it hurts type of shit right because you're feeling sad um, at this time and it's like you should it's like I want to push I want to send that energy around but for majority of you it's the energy of like you want this person to kind of acknowledge this um, union, acknowledge, the, acknowledge this relationship and really just be so fucking into you and only you. Give me more for the wants for a cancer's person. All right, so we got a drama queen here. Thirsty causing chaos. Then we got a negotiator. Bargaining, begging. So, <laughs> it's almost a sense of like, this person kind of wants you to accept them for how they are, right? They don't want to really have to change here is the energy that I'm getting. You know, like this person could have you in drama and bullshit. And this person, for some of you, you could have felt like you had to cut this person off because of this. Excuse me, guys. But they, they want it back. Like they're like, listen, I'm praying and hoping you see shit my way. Like I, I want to get this. Listen, I want to get that old thing back. Let's get more here, spirit. Give me more about what's the challenge here for cancer. What's the challenge here for cancer, spirit? Thank you. All right, so we got <laughs> damn cancer. Damn. So we got sold here, moving, physical location change. And then we have toxic, unhealthy behaviors and people, poison. So again, like I said, your challenge is moving away from this energy, especially for those of you that feel like this shit is toxic and this shit is not good for you. But it's like you put one, it's like having one foot out, one foot in, because I feel like you're energetically still pulling this person in. Even though it's like you really want to move on from this person because it's like, I'm done, right? I'm done. Some of you um want some sort of financial support from this person here or you're um like it says child alimony of government some sort of support here that you feel like you're due from this person for some of you all right give me the challenge here for cancer's person thank you spirit for clear and concise messages for cancer thank you all right so we got projected future days weeks months then we got genuine certain love so it's like <laughs> this person they don't even see it like they don't even see a future where they have this type of unconditional love like this person it's a lot of stuff that they need to work on with themselves before they can even have a relationship if i'm being like above yeah see listen anchor chains weighed down and then triggers like they're dealing with a lot here all right, let's see. Let's get a bit more here. Thank you, Sierra, for clear concise messages for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury in regards to love here. 
Thank you. All right. What are they? What actions is Cancer going to take here? What actions are Cancer is Cancer going to take here, Spirit? What actions is Cancer going to take here? All right. So we got the Five of Swords. Um, so a lot of you are definitely going to be in an energy where you're going to be more so focused on yourself here. It's like, I, I have to, you know, I have to kind of release this, you know, and move on. Um, but some of you are also in that place where it's like, maybe I should forgive them. I feel like a lot of you kind of go back and forth about what you want here with this person, right? Because it's definitely an energy where it's like something that it's like you feel like you're suppressing your feelings for this person. And that is something that really frustrates you. You don't want to have to do it, but it's like this person puts you in a place where you feel like you have to do it. All right. Um, and then we got the Hierophant in the reverse here. And uh, that is Taurus's energy. Yeah, because some of you, it's like you don't trust this person. No matter how much you love them, you feel like I need to abandon this connection because, you know, it's like I need to love myself more, right? So some of you definitely are going to go into separation with this person if you're not already in separation. Give me more here, Spirit. What what actions will Cancer's person be taking during this time? Oh, shizzle. Thank you. All right, so we got the Two of Wands here. <laughs> but why <laughs> okay so uh and this is your energy cancer they feel like you already turned your back on them they feel like they don't have any power to make this any like to make anything happen make anything move forward here this person already feels like they kind of missed out on that opportunity with you so it's like now they're just feeling defeated and having a lot of inaction right and I feel like this person is also in their head a lot, right? It's like something, like this person needs to gain clarity about something here, right? It's something definitely needs to be balanced out. Because they could feel like something isn't fair. All right. Go ahead and give me more here, Spirit. Thank you. Thank you. Give me more here, Spirit. What's the challenge here? How are they moving past this challenge? We got the Four of Swords. Okay? So, um, some of you could be dealing with an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. But this is definitely that energy where it's like, I'm just taking myself out the fight. You know, I'm going to focus on myself, my own self-care. Figure out how I got in this place in the fucking first place here. You know what I'm saying? And really focus on my mental stability here. Because I feel like a lot of you, this person, play a lot of mind games with you here. You know, especially um, for those of you with the Ten of Pentacles, it's like, you could have had children with this person and this really fucked up your family and you really struggled with this uh, situation of kind of, um, or this decision of kind of walking away from this person because I feel like there's definitely a lot of sadness here. Give me more here. How are they going to overcome this? Six of Cups in the reverse. It's going to take a lot. It's going to take a lot. You know, I feel like a lot of you... Um, there could be some sort of uh, childhood trauma that you're trying to get over as well. And this is something that you're trying to move past here. I'm sorry about that, guys. So I feel like, you know, you're dealing with a lot of like mistrust of this that you're feeling like you need to really heal from in order for you to move forward. Give me more here. Yeah, because you want things to be right. And this is this is balance card coming up again with justice energy. You could be dealing with a Libra. But this is the sense of like, you want shit to be fair. You don't want to have to put yourself into situations. And until shit become balanced, you're going to feel off in this situation. But I feel like you're going to make this balance. Because you're, you're going to go towards something new and fresh and shit just be happy here because i feel like a lot of you it's like you gave up on a lot of things that you wanted to be with this person you could be done with the aries or an aquarius here give me more here how will cancer's person overcome this challenge here spirit thank you 
all right we got the ten of wands <laughs> so they're gonna start releasing their burdens that they're dealing with this childhood trauma whatever toxicity that they grew up with here um page of swords they're, they're trying to figure out like i'm sorry they trying to get to the root of the issue i feel like this person needs to go within and that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to, some of you, this person could be um, seeking some sort of therapy or something like that because I feel like this person is trying to figure out what's happening, right? Why do all of their relationships end this way or why everything is, seems like some sort of uphill battle, right? I feel like also this person is going to take responsibility for their actions here where I feel like in the past that could have possibly been like nah i ain't doing that <laughs> knight of swords here capricorn energy as well as aquarius and i feel like this person you know it's such an intense focus here um but i i really feel like this person is trying to gain some sort of clarity now i do want to say like this is going to be like an uphill battle this person is going to have to display a certain type of willpower for them to actually accomplish um you know getting this shadow work done to figure out exactly why they are the way they fucking are yeah four of wands because they want this they want to get to this place they want to get to this place where they can have that security that stability in a relationship that they can have confidence in a relationship right thank you spirit and it's like this is what i feel like this person is afraid of acknowledging the fact that they actually want that shit nine of pentacles in the reverse right i don't want to be by myself you know and i feel like this person has that energy like that that's what they want at least that's how they act they act like i want to be by myself i don't really care about anyone else and they do this and they self-sabotage relationships over and over again because of their own insecurity and their own issues within themselves right like for some of them they may be feeling like they don't have enough finances to have a certain type of relationship or um this is why they only offer a little bit to relationships because they feel like um it's going to eventually end right mm. thank you eight of swords here in the reverse i feel like they're going to be releasing this shit though all of this energy this person is coming to a place where they're they're going to feel liberated they're going to actually have forward movement and actually decide to change you know it's some sort of spiritual awakening this person's going to have yeah ten of cups because i feel like this is like the last straw here this is the last straw this this relationship ending um it was like the writing is now on the wall and this person um going towards like it's like this person can no longer be in denial of everything or um like uh, like every relationship that's ended can't be everybody else's fault you know nine of cups and this like i said this is what the fuck they want they want that happiness with you they want they want to have wish fulfillment here yeah two of cups what what they're realizing that they have to be open if this is something that they really want if they want this new beginning they're gonna have to be open with you could be dealing with an aquarius or an aries again here they gotta stop their old ways and do some new shit um could be dealing with the capricorn leo taurus aquarius uh scorpio all right let's go ahead and get some more messages here thank you spirit for clamping size messages for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Mars, and Venus, and Mercury. Thank you. Please be sure to like, share, and com like, share, comment, and subscribe, you guys. Thank you. All right. So we got prepare to be astounded. What? It says, send them love, wish them peace, see them happy. Everyone always forever and prepare to be astounded. The universe, oh man, and will you ever, and will you ever become a big time manifester? What? All right. Then we have turn on your love light. Okay. So I feel like a lot of you definitely need to focus on loving yourself here. Um, and this person, they need to just focus on themselves. You know, you know, it's a lot of things that you can't fix in a relationship. You know, two broken people cannot fix each other. Like, that shit is false. 
Thank you, Spirit, for playing besides messages for Cancer. We got Capricorn here. Have Gemini. We have the Sun. It could be done with the Leo. We have Aries here. All right, then we got Sagittarius at the back, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and leave it here. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. I send it back to you guys tenfold and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.